Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. I've noticed this trend that started on social media. Now, I know social media isn't real life, but it's also the place that we often bring our opinions on tough things, on difficult situations. Right? Every time that there's a tragedy in this world, or any time that there's a hot button issue that we all are heated about, there are two sides that I continue to see in regards to God on the subject. Right? There is this group of people who continue to say, Come, Lord Jesus, come quickly. And in doing so, we may have the best intentions, but in doing so, we're communicating that this world is too far gone. Right? We need God to come in and just blow it up and start over. Or come and grab us because we're ready to go because this world is just not good enough. And honestly, if you look at common superhero movies or superhero TV shows, that's the pervasive theme. There's all, the bad guy is always the one who believes that the world is too far gone, not savable, and they either need to nuke it, they need to save some but get rid of the rest, and it always ends poorly. And I don't think that that's the intention of people who are saying that, but if you watch the movies, you are saying the same thing that the villains of all of these superhero movies are saying. And then on the other side of the spectrum, right, there was a mass shooting recently and, and a couple prominent figures commented, they tweeted, I'm praying, we're praying for the people in that area, we're praying for the families that are affected by this. And they got a bunch of really bad feedback saying, stop praying, it's not working. Right? The assumption that God really doesn't care whether a bunch of people get killed or that we have all of these issues around the hot buttons, right? They're basically saying God's abandoned us and he doesn't care, so stop praying. The problem with both of these assumptions is that it's not our responsibility, right? The first one assumes that God should just sweep in and fix it because it's too far gone. The other is the same. God should sweep in and fix it because it's not getting any better. And because he hasn't, he doesn't care. Or it's too far gone, we need him to save us. But it eliminates the idea that I think is pervasive throughout the Bible, that we are a part of the plan. We are a part of God's story. He sent his son to live here, to walk among us, to teach us, to train us, and to show us, so that we could be a part of that plan part of the plan to spread his word, but also a part of the plan to be different, to help people see that, that their life, life choices may not be the best and that it's better for them, it's better for our world if we change, to help people respond appropriately in tragic and hot button situations that we would show up. That's what God's asked us to do. See, in 1 Thessalonians 3, 14 through 15, it gives a whole long list of things that we should be doing. People that believe in God should be doing these ways, behaving this way. This way. It says, get along with each other. Each of you should be doing your part. So right there, it's asking us to be a part of this. Then it says to go, it goes on to say, warn the freeloaders to get a move on. Right? And I like the way that the message phrases it there because it's not fix them, make sure that you tell them all the things that they've done wrong. It just says, you know what, let's, let's have more conversations about what would be healthy and what would not be healthy and help people, help spur them along. It goes on to say to, uh, to encourage the stragglers. It, it says to uh, help people that are exhausted, encourage these stragglers that are exhausted, and then to be patient with one another. Right? We are to, to understand that we don't all see the world the same way. These polarizing views, what would happen if we got in the same room and we had a conversation rather than an argument? So be patient with one another. And then it says be careful not to snap at each other. Look for the best in each other. See, I say we start a new trend. The challenge for this week is to start a new trend that people would see us people with faith or people who are trying to figure out their faith, that we would take a chance, that we would stick in the conversation, the difficult places long enough, 
that we believe we can make a difference instead of just waiting for God to come in and intercede. And if you're struggling with faith, if you're thinking that God abandoned you, get your hands dirty, get your feet moving, and see how God shows up among his people. He invited us to be a part of this story, so let's go start a new trend. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to follow us each week, click here to subscribe. And if you want to take it a little bit further, click here for discussion materials.